here. We need to derive uh, drawable game components. So in public class screen manager, we need to add a colon and drawable game component. And we have the little rectangle underneath the T, so click that and we add the using Microsoft.xnata framework. And once that's derived, we can go to our constructor. So our constructor will be public screen manager and we need to pass a game game and we need to call the base since it's derived from a another class we need to pass a game as well okay so inside that constructor we need to initialize the two screen objects and the keyboard object. So, screen game is equal to new game screen. Screen menu is equal to new menu screen. And keyboard is equal to new keyboard. Okay, so now we need to do a protected override. and it's load content and inside that method we do not need base let's do sprite batch is equal to new sprite batch and it's graphics device now we need public override void update so public override space and we go to the update and yeah we can leave base but let's add a comment on what we need to do to this method update screens and keyboard now we need a public override again and this is for the draw we leave base and add another comment on draw screens. Now this is a very basic way of doing screens and we'll modify it later in this game uh, probably a few tutorials down the road we'll modify it and we'll enhance this in later games so that's it for this video next video we'll do the menu screen and possibly the finish that it may take the whole time so i hope to see you for the next video